Hey YT fam, this is your girl Monica aka The Return Queen and I'm coming at you guys with a quick video. Um, today's video is just basically going to be an update video, um, letting you guys know what I've been doing um, and to say thank you to everyone who has watched and commented on my last video. Um, I did know that I would be able to relate to some people or some people would understand um, but there was an um, overwhelming amount of people who actually knew somebody who pulled their hair or whatever the case may be but yeah I'm glad that everybody is so supportive I really appreciate the supportive comments and all of the prayers you guys thank you so much um like I said before it has been a long journey 12 years you guys and I have my ups and downs I really do um like I said, when I'm when I'm heavily stressed is when I do it. Um, when I'm not, I don't. I have found, though, in the stretching of my relaxers that I pull less. The urge to pull is less when I don't have relaxed hair. So I think that's why I stretch for so long because I... Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a trick. Maybe it's a mind thing or who knows. But whatever the case may be, you guys, thanks so much for the prayers and the support. I really, really, really do appreciate it. That was a hard video for me to do. Um, a lot of people, family members included, didn't understand my reasoning for wanting to do it. They felt as if that type of information or that type of part of me didn't need to be out. But like I said, I wanted to put it out there. Um, because hey none of us are perfect all of us have our struggles and um, the minute that you can see that somebody that you watch all the time or whatever the case may be is is really you know has something going on that you may have going on it changes the situation altogether so again like I said I appreciate everyone for all of your support um I haven't been up to anything you guys I um I have a new job, a little side hustle, I guess you should say, and um, that's been fun. That's been fun. It's been had me busy, and so that's why I it took me so long to get this video out, but I did want to come on here and um, say thank you, and then say welcome to all my new subscribers, you guys. It's been a minute since I said that in my videos, and I don't want to not seem appreciative. Thank you so much to everyone who's taken time out of your day to subscribe to my channel. Thanks to everybody who watched my videos. Um, to all of my old subscribers who've hung in there with me. I really, really do appreciate you guys. Um, and as far as getting back to comments goes, I don't have my desktop computer set up yet. And so it's hard for me to comment via my iPad or whatever the case may be. So don't think that I in any way think that I'm too big to to comment back or to whatever back to you guys but um I just don't I, I can't you know do it like I would if I had my um my desktop set up but I do appreciate any comments that you leave I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos and I appreciate my subbies so again I just wanted to say thank you for that and um yeah what else has been going on oh I can tell you about my face of the day um, this is what I wore to work today. Um, oh, this is this is something I did since I've taken off, you guys. I made this. I made this little, my version of a Z palette. And it's made out of a DVD case. And I will do a video showing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this already. If you don't follow me on Instagram, hey, it's the Return Queen. Follow me. Um, you can see what type of mad madness I have going on um, on a daily basis. Or I try to put pictures up daily, you know. I'm a picture taker, so hey, Instagram would probably, if, if I could do what I do on YouTube via Instagram, then I'd have it made. Before. And you guys, you probably noticed I'm not on Facebook. I've been off of Facebook for about a year. A year. Really. I've been off Facebook for about a month. Seems like a year. And um, I just took a break from Facebook, you guys. It it was just a decision that I made. I'm also all over the place in this video. But anyway, if, if you're watching, I'm going to get to the details in a minute. But I have been, um, I just been through some things in my life. And I just want to, 
you know, I wanted that breather. I wanted that something away. You know, it gets to be a lot when you're doing YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I hardly ever do Twitter. I used to do it a lot in the beginning. But I needed... I think I gotten to the point where as soon as my feet hit the floor in the morning times or I go to use the restroom at night, I was checking, you know, Facebook or whatever the case may be or in the makeup group, seeing what was going on, what was new in the makeup group. And I just needed something, like a separation of something to, to give up. And then I, I chose Facebook, you know, because I said God has been so good in my life, you know, that I could sacrifice something. You know, I remember a couple of years back, my mom's church was on a media fast. And I think it lasted about 12 years where they... The heck is wrong with me with these years? It lasted about 12 days. Uh, fast for 12 days media. And it was no TV, no radio, no phone, no... It was something. Whatever the case may be, it was, elect it was something. Technology. Some kind of technology fast. And they couldn't do any of that. So, yeah, it didn't include the phone. So they were closed off from the world, basically. And it was a healthy fast because it gave people time to spend with family instead of the, you know, the pictures that you see nowadays where everybody's sitting around the room and somebody has their head down buried into, you know, into some kind of electronic device. But anywho, before I have a 20-minute video rambling on, yes, I'll be back on Facebook soon. My birthday is um, this coming Saturday, so... I will be 40. Yes, I know. I don't look a day over 21. Yeah, but anywho. <laughs> yes, so the big B day is coming up. And I don't know if I'm going to come back. I said I was going to come back on the first. So, hey, who knows? I might be saying um, hello to everybody on tomorrow. But anyway, I'll be back soon. But anyway, like yeah, I said, so that's that. But I will show. <laughs> I got that palette, you guys, to show you my look for today crazy pray for me all right so i use this particular color right here as my crease color i put that all over my crease and i did i did my look today kind of like backwards i put down groundwork paint pot i did my highlight which i used this color right here and then i went ahead and did my crease color which i said was this color right here and i went ahead and did the outer v and on the outer V, it's just this deep, deep, like a grayish black brown color. So I went ahead and did that. And then on my lid, I went into my Naked 2 palette. And I used uh, YDK. So YDK is on my lid. So this is my look. And I did this look, you guys. It's currently um, 9 o'clock, and I did this look at about um, 9 o'clock this morning. So, it has held up on my face. I am wearing a sample of NARS Sheer Glow in Trinidad that I got from Sephora the other day. Um, let's just say this is on my wish list to buy the full bottle of NARS Sheer Glow. I love this stuff love it now last time I loved the foundation like this it was my MAC match masters but NARS sheer glow Trinidad it's on my wish list it definitely is I topped it off with my MSF in um, dark deep I have my Sonia Kashuk highlight on my blush is Illamasqua um, thrust and on my lips is L'Oreal Runway Project Runway Collection in 486 The Mystics Kiss and it is a beautiful purple. You guys, this thing smells <laughs> just like that Makeup Forever lipstick, but I can stomach this one. The scent goes away. That Makeup Forever number 15 sits on my lips and smells like a granny's perfume the whole time I have it on. I need to do the other hand because this one is swatched to death. I was playing in colors. But yeah, it doesn't look near like it does in the tube. Like, it is not intimidating at all. So I love that. And then I topped it off with um, the Le Gloss that came with it in 481. The Mystics Kiss. 
I mean shine. 481 the Mystic Shine. And that's my lip. And then I did post a uh, face of the day on um, Instagram also. And my lashes are the Demi Wispies in the little blue case. That cost a dollar at the Beauty Supply. Um, let's see what else. I'm wiping that off my hand. Let's see what else can I show you guys? Oh, I can show you guys what I got at um at Sephora the other day. I went to Sephora. <clears throat> I um have been hearing about this for a, a minute now. Um, I think um Nikki Hanna. It, uh, formerly known as, like Prince, <laughs> formerly known as um, S. Hana Blue 007, um, showed this in the Makeup Mavens a while ago. And I had been having it on my list for the longest time. So I was finally able to pick this up. And it's called the Give Me Some Lip um, Sephora Favorites. And inside this, um, inside this set, you get six lip products. Two of them being full size. You get a full size uh, Tarte lip pencil in Hope. You get this Sephora lip gloss. You get to try a little Hourglass Lippy, Laura Mercier, and Bite, which is another um, cosmetic company that Sephora carries. And then you get the little uh, Fresh uh, Sugar Lip Balm in here. And then I also got the little one for my birthday, my little birthday gift. But this is the same one as what they're giving for the birthdays this year. So, yeah, I was really excited to finally get my hands on this set. And then I also was able to cash in my, um, my beauty rewards and get a little goodie. And I was in a... Um, Sephora in Timbuktu, you guys. So that's probably the only reason why they still had this set left. Um, I remember had to be about a good four, six months ago, maybe. I may be lying too. Three months ago, maybe. I saw this on Miss Fine Maple had posted it on her Instagram page. And I was like, oh my God, I want it because I'd never tried Buxom before. So this was a 500 perks point. Um, gift that Sephora had so I was able to cash it in and get this Sephora uh, passport lip set you get it in this little cover and it comes with a buxom a full-size buxom lip gloss and I think this one is sorry that. about that you guys um, somebody was trying to call me on FaceTime but anyway um, then you get a um, buxom I think this is a lipstick pencil and it's just like a new color Put it on my hand right there yeah right there so yeah you got this and like I said this was a 500 perks point and I was so happy to find this because like I said when she posted it I was like oh my god I want it so bad and so I was on I was about uh I think I, I was about 13 points away from 500 so um, when I purchased this it put me over so I was able to get this and I got the last one so I felt so happy to finally get that but anyway you guys that is it that I have for y'all um just a quick update like I said I wanted to get back with you guys and um let you all know that I really appreciate the nice comments and words that you had for me and thank you so much for your prayers and um I really appreciate you guys thanks so much for hanging in there with Monica aka the return queen and um yeah that's about it y'all um yeah, that's it. Remember, like I always say, if they can't handle you at your worst, they don't deserve you at your best. Smooches.